After Genshin has released their drip marketing, you might be wondering, is it really worth it to go for Arlecchino? Or is it worth skipping Arlecchino and her weapon to go for the new characters that are going to be coming out in Genshin Impact 4.7? Who are those characters? Well, yesterday we have covered that those characters are Sethos or Sethos, one of which, Florind, and Siege, Siegewain, Siegewain, one of those. So basically, three really cool characters are going to be coming out in 4.7. I'm, I believe, Siegewain is going to be a healer because it's head nurse on her little banner thing, and then the rest are going to be DPS. I don't know about Sethos that much, but I don't think they're going to be releasing healer and a support and a dps at the same time i feel like that's a little too convenient <laughs> that is what i think and is it going to be worth it going for those characters instead of arlecchino now i'm gonna ask you a question do you have a dps if not go for arlecchino she's going to be crazy she's going to have a lot of damage she's a pyro unit so she's going to do melt she's going to do vaporize so definitely a character to consider when you want to clear whatever quote unquote difficult content in the game right but also i've been waiting for arlecchino for this so so long that i haven't really thought about going for a character other than arlecchino so that is something that's in my brain maybe it's a little bit of bias but that's that and to be honest chlorind as a character looks absolutely insane i've also been kind of excited to get chlorind i don't know maybe I'm, I'm gonna have to find a way to try to get chlorind and siege wine as well because uh, honestly i've been kind of cheaping out on healers i haven't gotten healers that i really wanted i didn't get kokumi or one you know hydro healer so now i kind of want siege wine so maybe you guys are on the same boat as i am so maybe it's also affecting you uh, we already know what Arlecchino does. She's going to be a great DPS. She has a bond of life mechanic. Um, she does normal attacks most of the time, but she uses her burst to heal. A lot of stuff goes into Arlecchino's kit. You also need a bunch of supports to really get the most out of her as well. If you get a safe option like Siegewine, you just get a healer. You don't really need supports for a healer. That's also something to consider. All of the new characters, two of them of which are electric and one is hydro. And then you have a DPS of Arlecchino. At the end of the day, it is up to you what character that you want to go for. If you guys are still not convinced to go for Arlecchino, I just want you to see the scythe that she's going to be using, okay? I don't think she's a character worth skipping, but she's not a character worth going for if you're going to just get her for the sake of getting her. Get her because you need a DPS. Get her because she looks cool. Get her for whatever reason. Is going to be pretty awesome anyway and we're going to be reacting to her demo right now in a second and i want you guys to tell me what you guys are going to do are you guys going to be skipping arlecchino or are you guys going to go right ahead and get arlecchino now arlecchino as i said before this a few times but she's going to be relatively easy to build um she's going to have her own weapon obviously but her other weapon choices are not bad she has the black lip she has the death mash she has the jade winged spear she has pretty good options she even has a three starred white tassel option available and ready for her to be used really not that hard to put a weapon on arlecchino and that's a really good benefit to have not to mention she's going to have a brand new artifact set that fits exactly to her needs and that's that. Now for her talent, she's going to be a pretty high investment character, but I feel like that's okay. We can we can, we can get around that, I feel like. So there is that as well. Arlecchino is going to be easy to build. She's going to be easy to put into any team possible. You can have Kaza on the team, you can have Bennett, you can have uh, Yunjin, you can have Zhongli, you can have so many characters. Fiorina, so whatever team you put Hu Tao, just put Arlecchino. Very simple. All right, here is the demo. Let's go. Let's Legend see. has it that long ago, the long Wait, nights were the what? den of dangers untold. Okay, in a zoom or now. Hmm. Very the well traveled. Would huddle at home and light the hearth, awaiting the adults. Oh, return. that's sick. Okay, I'm sorry, I overreacted, but now Fontaine. Hey, where is this? Oh man. A spark cannot shatter all shadows until it's oh, man. all ablaze. Or else to the other end of light. What is that? Bleak shades. 
Wait, that's her new weapon. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh my goodness. What just happened? My brain is I can't keep up. I don't I don't that was crazy. Okay. I feel like the scene is cool, but it's kind of creeping me out. Okay, I feel a little bit better. Never mind, I take it back. I take it back. Yo! Okay, this is kind of going hard. It's going a little too hard, maybe. Yo! <laughs> That's a domain expansion. Children love to play by the fireplace. So let us continue to use the name House of the Hearth. Still, its flame is no longer needed. For Wait. you have the strength to defend yourselves. Yeah, true. Okay, I'll be honest, that wasn't the greatest one of all time. I've seen some crazier ones. Okay, Jungle is, is still undefeated. That's just my personal opinion. But this one wasn't bad. It just, it just wasn't good. It just wasn't good. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just me. But some of the scenes here were crazy. I, I'm not gonna lie, some of the scenes were really, really cool. And... Uh, I guess that's sort of what you want from a character demo. You kind of just want to see like the cool, crazy scenes. But other than that, it's, it's all right. Okay, it's not going to convince me to pull on her. It's not going to convince me to not pull on her either. But yeah, I mean, that was pretty cool. And so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to be pulling on Arlecchino? Or are you going to go right ahead and skip? That's going to be all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one very soon. Bye.